were having some sort of discussion. We were having a discussion on what I feel is the problem. Now, I believe, and throughout history, and this is undisputable, it's a scientific fact, uh, what is the greatest poison ever created by the human being? First of all, let's, what's the definition of poison? It means lethal to a human being. The number one reason why human beings have been murdered throughout history is religion. Undisputable. You drive past McDonald's, you see 9.2 billion people served at McDonald's. More than 9.2 billion people have been murdered in the name of religion since the, oh my God, more than 50,000 years already. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't argue with what that. I'm saying, if I was to write down on a piece of paper what I assume God is thinking and what God's no, intentions are. No, God. Are, God is saying God doesn't exist as far right, as I'm so concerned. What I'm saying is... The You're saying what you think God is thinking. All right. All books of scripture. Now, I want people to pray to God. I want people to... Why? Have a, Why? Because I believe... God doesn't I exist. Believe, That's bullshit. This is my personal belief. I believe So your personal God. belief is the truth. As long as the no, only truth. Could, I could be wrong. It's just my oh, opinion. Oh, okay. Well, they could, be, is, they could be wrong or they oh, could be right. It's their opinion. Is fact is well, uh, all books of religion were not written by Almighty God, the Creator. They were written by humans. That's not what those people right. think. I know, but if I write down on a piece of paper what I assume God is thinking... Or what oh, God's what you thinking. assume God is thinking? Who are you right, to assume so what God is thinking? You have a special thing to God? Let me finish. Okay. Finish. If I write down on a tree bark, a stone, yeah. paper in modern day, type it, uh, computer, what I assume God is thinking, what God's intentions are, and I hand it to other human beings and I say, read this. They turn around and say, how dare me? It's not how dare me, it's how dare them. For what? They, For ignoring Because they don't know brilliant? what God is thinking or God's intentions are. Why do you have a monopoly on right. God's thing right. or so intentions? Now, now it gets God the, doesn't exist to begin uh, with, so where the hell do you it, come in claiming to be God? It actually gets a little bit better. Oh, it, it does? It really oh. does. First of all, you got to learn to compare the human being to every living thing on the planet. No other species, plant life, insects, animals, fishes in the oceans, ozone glaciers do what the human being do. What do we do? It gets better. What do we do? Tell we build me. bombs of mass destruction, that's one. All right. If you imagine planet Earth without any human beings, well, everything, creation as a whole, is better off. So what's the problem? It's humans. So you're telling me the problem wrote the solution. Believe it or not, that is the answer. I came up with the right answer. If you look at many different scenarios, you know, they talk about apocalypse. Well, the word apocalypse is an ancient Greek word that means <laughs> to reveal. Does it? I didn't yes, know that. that's, that's okay. what it means. Mm -hmm. If you look at all the different scenarios on how human beings can become extinct on planet Earth, you got nuclear holocaust, you got an asteroid comet strike, you got plague, famine, drought, etc., etc. What is the most ethical, moral way for our species to come to an end? Just stop reproducing. This is what I believe God wants us to figure out. I believe we don't have the right to reproduce because we go by will. Is that benefit us? Is this a blessing or a curse? Come on, my God. The people that have children, some of them call it a blessing, others call it a curse. No, it's okay, individual. So then, there are people that have then, kids, then, they call them their great then, time and their great creation in life. Others have people. kids, they call them their great curse. So then is it possible? The story of Lucifer and Satan, Lucifer being... Mo Why are you talking about Lucifer because, and Satan? We no, don't believe all that stuff, what I'm right? Saying, it's we don't believe all that stuff. I believe books of religion were written to hide the truth. To hide the truth. How come everything in books of religion has never happened in my lifetime? Well, you haven't, lived, you haven't lived several thousand years. Books of religion span thousands of years. Maybe that's the reason why. So, I go like this. If you learn, you take anything that's written in scripture, in any book of scripture, and compare it to your own life experience, is it a miracle or is it a manipulation? Come on! What do all people of religion do? Don't they look to gather wealth in any shape or form? The root of all evil is wealth in any shape or form. You're preaching the word of God supposedly and harvesting the root of all evil at the same time. How does that work?
Very well for some of the ones that harvest a lot of wealth. It's, it's pure. Tammy evil. Faye and Jimmy getting Baker back, had all kinds back. of millions of dollars Listen, that it, he it was invested in. It my, my spiritual belief. What is my spiritual belief called? I don't know. I named my spiritual belief after the number one thing I've been my entire life. What's that? Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not righteous. I'm sorry I suffer from pride, lust, greed, envy, gluttony, sloth, anger, and love, the eight deadly sins. The story What's of, wrong with love? But I object to your thing of calling love a go. sin. What's the four things I know about love? One, it's forever. Two, it's the worst pain a human being can feel. Three, it can make incredibly human beings incredibly blind. Four, it can drive human beings to do some insane things. None I of them being good. I know love those, is a lot more, but those but are the it can, if it works, if it works, there are Anything. people that have happy Listen, relationships that live happily ever Lucifer, after. The story of Lucifer. Oh, uh, why are you no, going I, back to Bible? You don't believe I just, in Bible. Just a comparison. Bible was made up, please, you say. Please, just the comparisons. Oh. The story of Lucifer goes most beautiful, closest to God. What is the most beautiful thing on the planet? It is a woman. A, a woman. A child. The child. No, a woman. No, it's the child. A man. A child. A human being. A, a mature Listen, human being with a mind who is trying to do good to the world. Jimmy Carter. The child Jimmy, comes Carter. From. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter, I say. It, it, it doesn't matter where the child comes from, who its parents are. The child is beautiful, pure and innocent, but the child grows up to be what? An adult. Satan will destroy all that God created. Are we not destroying creation? Satan, what is this? What is this? Listen, Cry the story your hand and you tell me you don't believe the in the story, Bible and you're quoting listen, Lucifer. Listen, comparisons. The story of Lucifer and Satan is the story of the child and the adult. Not possible because it sure seems that way to me. Who are you? Who are you to make the I'm decision on human who the hell being, Lucifer listen, and God? A human being that's completely honest and sincere. I take. I, a look, I agree. I agree with that. I take. But a look doesn't mean that you're right. That does not mean that you're right. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying. Yes, you this are. Is my yes, opinion. you are. I go to people and I say. Then why do you want to be a enforce your opinion on others, tell them they can't be because produced? Because they try to they try to force their opinion on me. Like the guy telling me, they come, they preach from scripture, and the guy told me, if man doesn't praise God, God will raise the rocks up to speak. Uh, uh. And, I, and I said, I said, excuse me, did you just tell me the rocks are going to talk? When is okay, it stop? Okay, I, I want to change topics a moment. Okay. Today we were on the, on the elevator, okay. and I was talking about someone I met on the subway. Yes. And you, tell, me, tell me the story. Just tell me what happened. Well, the guy looked very familiar to me. Yeah. If he ran the village when I ran the village, and that's the where I think I got from. In the 80s or 90s, right? Listen, I was a mess. I was on meth okay, and I had okay. shot heroin, I smoked crack, okay. yada, 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 yada. So you said what? I'm guilty. And, and I said, well, I wonder if he ever smoked crack. Maybe that's how I know him. Oh. And then what yes. happened? Then some, some young lady laughed. And young, she young African-American woman, well, she, right? She looked at me like, you know, I wouldn't think that you have ever smoked crack. And I said, <laughs> no, I'm a lot guiltier ah. than just smoking crack. But I was amazed at how she cracked up laughing. And then she said, then she said, I would never think you were one of those people who even knew what that word meant. No. Uh, Isn't that what she said? Yes, that's exactly what she said. Right, okay. But what I'm saying is a lot of people assume, and I don't like to assume. It uh, makes an ass of you and me assume. Uh, so, no, you shit all over exactitude is what you really do. Okay. You know, it's not, nothing is written in stone and life ain't a one-way street. It's give and take. And, and I do believe you it's have to It's use and be used. Let me we say use and be used. We were talking about gratitude. You said, you said something else and I said, no, gratitude. You, I forgot the word you used. I was saying, didn't you feel some sort of satisfaction out of and having said, helped no, a friend home today? Gratitude. What's and I said, best? I was not looking for gratitude. Yeah, I was listen, looking for satisfaction of I'm having saying, done a good deed. The best way to give and receive gratitude is to help another human being. Well, we did that today. We did I that. I know that. And I, I know But that. you were not able to enjoy that and accept that. Listen, I got a lot of things on my mind. You may not think I enjoyed today, but I really did. did oh, all the well, issues good. going on that yeah. I'm completely baffled. I, I, I've been sober for... Well, let's face it. We were full, having... having, having let's get in the racing real quick, because I only have another minute and a half right. or two. Uh, we were having an African-American guy home from the hospital. Okay. And the first thing happened, I mean, one thing happened is we were getting on the subway. What did you have to do? And I, mean, I went down, we get into this, 
and some some African American come over on the subway with some kid that had some beautiful hair, and I said, "What a beautiful child!" Okay. And they said, "A little bit too much hair." And I said, "No, I wish I had hair like that curly." I should have said, "Take take your hat off to you." And and they laughed, and they were very flattered. Then another guy we got on the subway with George in the wheelchair, and an African American young man I, got up and offered you his seat, uh, which you took. And I said, thank you, sir, yes. which he acknowledged, which you yes. didn't seem to even be aware but, of. All right, a lot of but people, I'm just saying that we, we, you I and I, you and I see other people not as members of other groups, what I'm saying but as it. members of the human race. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I just hurry up. You got, you got 30 a, seconds to finish. As I'm a salesman and I go out to the community every day right. and meet a lot of bunch of oh, people. Talk about the because woman I'm learning in, Spanish. In Elway, you say, said, you said somebody I met in the elevator, you thought, Listen, does he use crack? How many and she broke up. How many Say nationalities that. are on the planet? But I'm saying, but she broke up. You, One, the human race. Okay, but I'm saying, but she, woman, the black woman broke up because she said to you, when you said... Because he, I was honest and sincere. Right. And she, right. she broke up and I said, I don't think you people like you ever knew what crack addiction was. Never. And the fact is, you did, right? Yeah, and I've never been homeless with headlights either. Right, but you didn't say that to her. But she no, laughed, I didn't say and, that, and, but laughed and then she apologized people... for laughing, saying, "I never thought you were that. T you would know any, even know that word." And I thought that was beautiful because the fact of the matter is, today we entered a world in which race was not a barrier to interpersonal communication, and that is beautiful. So it I want to end this right now. That was a beautiful right. moment. When it comes down to yeah, hurry up. drugs and alcohol yeah. or addiction, it does not discriminate. And, and one of my steadiest dealers, one of the steadiest customers when I dealt heroin was a rabbi with the coils and everything. Oh.